the switch to biped mode. Careful, it's a whole new battle now. I knew I'd seen that guy before. Stephen Armstrong. As in Colorado Senator Stephen Armstrong. They're already talking about him as a shoe-in for the nomination in 2020. And get this. Two years ago, a federal grand jury investigated his ties to a certain private... World Marshal. One of the biggest PMCs out there. I remember. The biggest. Ever since the Big Five split up. Not to mention the single largest investor in military cyborg R&D in the world. Guess that answers the question of who's backing Desperado. Marshall and Desperado in bed together. <laughs> Should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? This is World Marshal and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. It'd be financial and political suicide. So we just what? Sit back while they keep carving up kids, stand aside while they build an army of cyborgs? You heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. They're planning something big, Kev. We can't just wait for it to happen. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Raiden, no. I know what you're thinking and just no. 
Colorado is in America, and America has these things called laws. Mm-hmm. And law enforcement in Denver was privatized and farmed out to... Marshall, yes, so what? There are still laws, and it's their headquarters, for Christ's sakes. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. I didn't say it would be easy. We'll figure it out once the kids are safe. Jesus fr- Kevin, out! Marshal is backing Desperado, hmm. You don't exactly sound surprised. I did not catch it on the nose, but I did have a hunch it was this sort of thing. Well, you're the boss. What do you think? Can we take them on? What I think no longer matters here. As Kevin says, we have no legal grounds to stop them. And you? What would you have us do? Storm their headquarters? Kill them all? Will that make you feel better? No, I... I mean, look, you heard him. They're already in VR training. Raiden. The Patriots may be gone, but it hasn't changed shit in the U.S. A handful of elites still get away with whatever the hell they want. Raiden, calm down. Focus on rescuing the kids first. We will talk about this later. Yeah. Copy that. Anything on George yet? No. I think maybe they took him away. Or worse. Perhaps. Remember what that man said. There was matter of payment, but he doesn't need to wait for anything here. He can kill those prisoners any time he wants. And as for SKPs, they're more easily killed than captured. Damn it! I knew I should have stayed with him until our guy showed up. Raiden, the other children are not safe either. That payment may already have been made for all we know. And they know you're there, too. They may decide to simply dispose of children before they escape. You must hurry. Anything on Joe? No, or perhaps. He Damn it! Right, that they. What do we know about Armstrong? Plenty. Texas born and raised, played quarterback at UT. He was slated for the pros, but wound up joining the Navy after graduating. Said he wanted to serve his country instead. After that, moved to Colorado. Served in the state senate before getting elected to federal office. But this can probably wait. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Any sign of George? Not yet. No. Our men have split up to canvas. You un World of Marshall. I never would have guessed it. I mean, they're huge. They advertise on TV with Hollywood celebs and everything. Yeah, it builds their brand and influences how the mass media treats them. When a company's got nothing to sell and a huge ad campaign to sell it, that's usually a bad sign. But I don't know. I thought they were like us. I guess I thought they actually prided themselves on following international law, keeping people safe. A lot of their guys aren't even contractors. They help militaries with logistics support, that kind of thing. I mean, I went to college with people who have jobs there. Sorry to hear that. Guess the ad campaign worked on them, huh? So, what now? First, we rescue those kids. After that, we talk things over with Boris and everyone else. Gotcha. Okay, I'd better save your data, huh? All right, save complete. Please be careful, Raiden. Got anything on George? Not yet. I hope he's okay. Oh, this is my fault. I could have stayed until someone came to pick him up. Come on, who knows what would have happened to the other kids in the meantime? Or even now, for that matter. You're right. They're going to be in even more danger soon enough. And there's a chance George is still safe. Somewhere. Yeah. I'm sure he's fine. I'd better move. That UG. Made in the East? Indeed. The Grad. Russian for hail. It is built by the ally Visnyovyeki Machine Works Design Bureau in Dnipropetrovsk, Ukraine. That's not easy to remember. Is it an old Soviet firm? Indeed. Technically, the UG's name is pronounced Grad, the Ukrainian way. But most in the business pronounce it as Grad, 
Russian style. Crazy to think I'd find something like that in Mexico, of all places. Well, drug cartels have been using Russian and Eastern European weapons for quite a while now, you know. Of course, the arms trade treaty should have made importing something that size rather challenging. Not for whoever's backing these guys, I guess. Hmm. I must admit, I never expected to see my Magneto strictive actuators in action again. Magneto what? An actuator that takes advantage of the change in shape when certain materials are magnetized. It was one of my many research subjects back in East Germany. So you think that research made it to the Ukraine and got picked up by the Wisney what, what, whatever Indeed. This great technology made under the communist ideal being used for something like this. My days of adhering to that sort of dogma are long over, but still, it saddens me to see this. Don't let it bother you, Doc. You made me too, right? And now your latest creation is gonna take them down. <laughs> Indeed. I look forward to the day. So, World Marshal was Desperato's benefactor all along, hmm? No wonder they were able to deploy cyborgs in such numbers against you. If they'd already started putting those kids through VR training... Is it possible I'm actually fighting some of them here? From the sound of things, the VR program had only just gotten underway. The brain can only process so much stimuli at once. You can speed up VR training for a UG to some extent, but not for a cyborg. I sincerely doubt they could complete a full training program in such a short time. Yeah, most of my training in Liberia was on the field. But it took a few months before I was in any way useful in combat. Indeed. I suppose you'd know more about how child soldiers fight than the rest of us here, Raiden. Yeah, I guess I'd be able to tell if they were children. Kids do fight differently from adults. So, World Marshal, no if they is it from the break, I see. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. So, no if they is it from the break, I see. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Desperado's backer has been identified. What will you do now, Raiden? Will you attempt to destroy World Marshal? I... Kevin's right. It's not that simple. Both a direct attack and a legal approach present problems. Either course will likely lead to additional conflict. We can figure it out later. For now, we're getting those kids out. That remains your intent. I cannot fully agree with that course of action. But I will support your decision. I will continue to scout ahead. Wolf, what's your status? I am en route to George's last known location. I will handle this assignment. You may return to your mission.